Hello, my name is Luis Cano, and I'm here with Miguel Mayorga. And today, we are here to discover new talents and skills within our students, create new passions for our students, and even give our students another chance at a scholarship to further their education. And how can we do that, you might ask? By creating an esports league at our school. So what exactly is esports? Esports are also known as e-games or electronic sports. Esports are competitive matches of a variety of video games played between organized teams. Some of the most popular esports games include Dota 2, League of Legends, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, Fortnite, and Arena of Valor. So what will the high school experience look like? Just like any other high school sport, program, or extracurricular activity, students will attend team meetings, practices, and official matches. These matches could be in teams or even independently. A massive advantage that esports has over other sports we currently know of and host is that for any reason that a team cannot travel, the matches are played online, so there really is no need for travel. Students will be supervised and coached just like in any other sport. They can go through drills and be pushed to work harder and be better. Again, just like in any other sport. If the teams ever decide to compete in matches while remaining in their schools, they can be supervised for any type of cheating by their coaches or even refs. Esports will also have regular and playoff seasons. Regular seasons will consist of weekly matches, practices, and state rankings. Playoff seasons will consist of top teams competitions and online finals. We are here outside of Jonathan's house, a former esports gamer and YouTuber. We're here to interview him about his experience with esports. So Jonathan, can you describe to me your experience in esports? So I've been able to create a small community on YouTube and get a couple thousand subscribers. And I've been able to interact with most of my subscribers. Mm -hmm. And I also uh, got a couple skills in computer. Oh. Through esports, Jonathan has managed to develop an impressive typing speed. The average words per minute is 40, and Jonathan can reach 82 words per minute. Some of the valuable skills developed through esports include experience with computers or consoles, hand eye coordination, self confidence and socialization, and communication. Esports helps students engage with their school since they must maintain certain grades in order to participate in sports. Students who participate in esports programs are found to have a higher interest in STEM subjects and hold impressive GPA averages. This makes students more employable across a wider spectrum of careers, including the medical field, engineering, aviation, remote flying, and computer sciences, and this is just a few. Esports help students engage with their schools due to the accountability of holding certain grades in order to participate in sports. Today, over 280 colleges feature esports programs. These programs operate similarly to traditional programs and sometimes operate out of college athletic departments. Esports is an incredible way to get recognized by large schools or even aspire to continue pursuing their education. Well, that's a wrap from us, and we appreciate you giving us your valuable time and attention. I hope you found anything we said today valuable to you. Thank you.